Our next caller is Frank from Washington. Hey, Frank, how can we help you? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. I right. uh, just want to say uh, I'm a big fan of you guys, and you really sent me in a 180 on what I thought I knew on health and fitness. So uh, thank you for all your content. Awesome. Uh, it's really changed me. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with low testosterone recently. Well, a couple months ago, like January. So I started with anabolic like you guys have suggested in your your podcast and it went really well and now i'm in aesthetic and i actually like it better than that uh but i've noticed that um i need a little bit more recovery and i've kind of developed some elbow pain so i've kind of swapped going from like a foundational workout every other day i'll do like a foundational and then do um like two focus days and then the foundational. And I'm wondering if that's really going to affect the programming while I try to figure out uh, how to deal with recovery and this elbow pain. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great question. So, and, and thank you so much for, for following us. Um, so maps aesthetic has a, it's a, it's, it's written in a similar way to maps anabolic in terms of its structure but it's a sure. lot more volume. Okay, there's a lot more volume in MAPS Aesthetic. It's a very advanced uh, program in comparison uh, to MAPS Anabolic. Now, what you're doing is is fine. Um, in fact, we encourage people to listen to their body and, and try to find ways to modify the programs uh, to really suit themselves. Obviously, when we create these programs, we're writing them for the masses. So if I were training you personally, there would be some changes that I would make. Now, I, I will make a suggestion what you're doing is okay, but I think I might have a better uh, option for you. And rather than spreading, okay. rather than spreading out the foundational workouts, maintain the same level of frequency that we recommend in the program, and just cut the volume down by about a third. Just take a third okay. of the set. Just take a third of the sets off of the off of the workout. So if the if the exercise is asking for you know nine sets for one body part, bring it down to six sets. Give that a shot because I think the frequency is a good thing. It may, it's probably the volume. It's probably the volume that's causing the problem. I, I also want to address, I mean, again, uh, to mm. echo what Sal said, I don't think that what you're doing is wrong. I think there's some other things, if you were a client of mine, that I would address. Um, you would definitely, I would have you on Maps Prime Pro. This is how I would use it. Um, it let's address your elbow pain. It, mm. You probably feel like golfer's elbow going on. So we would look at your, your shoulder and wrist mobility. So, and, and that's the way Maps Prime Pro is designed is for you to look at all these major joints. So there's stuff for the wrist, there's stuff for the shoulders. And I would actually build that into your focus days. So like your focus days would now become a little more mobility driven to okay. ad address yes. the aches and pains that you're having. I would use Maps Prime Pro to complement what you're doing. And then if you still were feeling issues, and not getting beyond the, the the aches and chronic pain, then I would go to what Sal is saying and reduce the volume a bit. Um, but okay. I, I, I yeah. definitely would include Prime Pro, though, into what you're doing. I was going to bring that up and echo that, too, in terms of like really trying to incorporate that uh, in your strategy. One thing to bring up, too, uh, when we do kind of stack these programs together, the reason why we have a suggestion of even going through MAPS Performance and then MAPS Aesthetic is because of what we're addressing it with you know rotation, with, with joint function, with multi multiplanar type movements. Um, that uh, a lot of times, a lot of these programs in the gym, uh, you know, we're trying to build and develop muscles specifically, but we're not articulating our joints uh, to the full ex extent. And so this is something that now, you know, can, can sort of hit – hit to like a tipping point where, you know, you're going to have so much progress because you've been loading it the same way and doing the same types of movements. Uh, we need to, we need to change that. So we need to add, uh, you know, a few of those, you know, extra movements, those rotational movements. So if you're doing presses, I suggest also to, to add some rotation in those presses. This is such a good point, Justin, like, and, and I, there's a lot of our audience that obviously hasn't been listening since the beginning. And when we created uh, MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic, we created them with the intent that 99% of the people would follow them in that order. And so when we okay. when we wrote the programming and we thought about the things that were going to go into the second program, that's exactly what, what you're going through was what we were trying to, to prevent. Yeah, prevent from happening. 
is okay. Maps and Anabolic is very much so, you know, focused in the same plane, strength, build strength, build a metabolism, phenomenal starter program. But then after that, if you're a client of mine, we've been training for three or four months, I know that I need to start doing some unilateral work, multi-planar stuff, like Justin is saying, addressing joint mobility, working on range of motion. And that's why that pro that program is heavily focused on that. That's why we built mobility days in on the uh, opposite of foundation days was we were trying to address this exact issue. And this is what sometimes happens when someone does like an anabolic program and they go right to like either aesthetic or go to strong or go to power lift. And they go to these, these programs that are heavily focused on building strength and muscle without addressing joint mobility. So in a perfect world, you actually would have went anabolic performance and then aesthetic. And I actually would bet that you wouldn't be dealing with some of the stuff you're dealing with in your elbow. Okay. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Uh, I, I, uh, I didn't pick that up from watching you guys. So that, that makes a lot of sense to me. All right, Frank. So how far along are you in maps aesthetic? Uh, I just finished week three. Okay. So if you want, there's two things we could do either one, you could take my advice, cut the volume down by a third. Um, and we'll send you maps prime pro or the second option. If you don't have maps performance, you're actually totally fine switching straight to maps performance right now. You're only three mm -hmm. weeks in, just go to Math okay. Performance, and if you don't have that program, I'll send that over to you. Let, which option do you want to do? Uh, well, I, I think uh, I think I want to go back and, and try Performance because um, the elbow pain is is there, but it it uh, you know it once I start get get lifting, it it kind of subdues. It mostly hurts when I'm not lifting. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna send over Maps Performance to you, and uh, if you don't have it, and just just follow that. Just jump right into it. Phase okay. one, and um, it's 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 very different. Yep. You're still going to build okay. muscle, but what you're going to get is a lot better mobility and movement. Then you can go back to Maps Aesthetic, mm -hmm. and you might uh, be singing a different story at that point. That's right. Keep us posted on your journey. I'd Definitely. like to I'd like to hear how this goes for you. Sure. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah. And uh, again, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, you really had an impact on on my trajectory. So uh, thanks awesome. again thanks, for Frank. all of that. Thanks, man. thanks Frank. thank you. I'm so glad you brought that up, Justin, because, uh, you know, and we got to get better about this. And maybe this, maybe Doug, this is something that we need to create. Um, you know, we forget this. Like that. the perfect way to go. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people yeah, don't, don't bring that up. Enough. We don't know that. I mean, yeah. we've written so many programs since then. That, they just think that. That's they, right. They just pick. Pick the one that's my favorite when we actually, <laughs> we put a lot of effort into what would the first year of training really look like for yeah. a client? And that what we, we were presenting that message early on all the time. But if you came in in the last two or three years and you didn't hear all that yeah. previous stuff, you don't know that. And so you just assume, oh, I'll pick the program that's my favorite when we actually wrote them in an order. Yeah, to go with, in that sequence. I mean, this was a big concern yeah. when we created a lot of our programs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember when we wrote Maps Hit, you know, we were like, okay, uh, I think it's okay to create Maps Hit now and let's make sure we communicate to people that they need yeah. to do these other things first. And, you know, and this, again, this is because we were trainers for a long time. We're not just, you know, fit guys that wanted to create workouts for people to buy and follow what we wanted. We're, we're trainers. So we go into this like trainers would, and there definitely is a superior order of operation. So for uh, this exact reason, exactly. I mean, I love, I love that we landed somebody like this. Cause I could see someone just going maps, anabolic maps, aesthetic maps, split. And then, you know, coming up with a lot of these issues. That happens right? a lot because right. especially if you're, and I, I mean, shoot, it would have, if, if I was a listener and I came in at this time, I would, I'm not, uh, I'm not drawn to the performance program. Mm hmm I'm not like I'm not trying to you know I'm not playing sports right now I'm not that doesn't appeal to me sure. I'm more I'm more of the aesthetic driven guy so I would look at our programs and go like well maps in a bog that looks like something I'd like or mm -hmm. maps aesthetic yeah maps split you know okay maybe maps strong like but performance it wouldn't even register that that's a program for me until you you hear why we wrote it and why it was the second program mm -hmm. there there was this exact intent because this is exactly what happens to somebody who trains for four, five, six months straight and doesn't address any sort of mobility work. It's very, very it'll, common. It'll sneak up on you. That's for right. Sure. 